Hey St. Andrews, good morning. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. Uh, today I have a reading from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5-8. through 8. It's about spiritual growth. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. For you, if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Peter's talking about things that we can that we can add in our in our study and discipline and to, to move us along in our faith journey and set ourselves up for success. And I know a lot of us right now are, are using this time at home to grow in our faith. And it's really, really easy to compare what we're doing in our progress to others for really everything that, oh, this person's doing this and they're more devout and they're growing more than, than I am. And, oh man, they're, they're watching five sermons on a Sunday. So they're really, really growing in their faith versus I'm just watching, you know, our, our church and worshiping with our church and doing, doing this or man, how do they have time to do all of those, all of these readings and devotionals and everything else. And I'm so, so busy. And I think it's really easy to get caught up in just what others are doing versus where we're at on our own faith. And, and I think the, the phrase comparison is the thief, thief of joy really comes into, into effect there, that we're, we're on our faith journey, and we're on our faith journey where we're at, at our own pace. I mean, my son has a, has a, has a car. He's, he's one year old, he's gonna turn two, and this is his car. It's his little Mini Cooper. Uh, it's a cozy coupe that his Aunt Coral painted to look like a, a Mini Cooper because his name's Cooper, if you didn't know that. Um, Cooper has he's had this car for for a while and and just like us in our faith journey when when we're a kid and we're little he wasn't able to really drive it on his on his own like he just had to sit in it and we had and we had to push him around everywhere like he could kind of go backwards but he couldn't go forward and and just like us as we're, we're growing in our faith we have to have others lead us and uh, last night for kind of really one of the one of the first times we were out playing playing in the the cul-de-sac with this with his car and he was, he figured out that he was able to take baby steps and really move himself along so just like as we as we first start doing things in our faith these baby steps really help help move us to where they're to where they're gonna be And as Cooper figured out when he was taking his baby steps or, or whatever else, sometimes you go the wrong way or you uh, wipe out and end in, end in disaster. And sometimes you just have to get out and push and, and get some others to help you so that you can get where you want to be going a lot faster. But friends, regardless of, of where you're at or where we're all at, if we're having somebody guide us along, if we're taking baby steps or we're turbocharged and, and ready to kick it into high gear uh, along our journey, just remember that we're all someplace on the journey and our journeys don't have to be compared. We, we all have to grow at our own pace. You know, we talk about that a lot in education that you know, you, you have kids on every end of the spectrum, and just like in, in our congregation, in our, in our community, we have people on every part of the spectrum of, of where their, their maturity and their growth and their faith is. And so don't let, don't let that comparison from where you think somebody else might be, be the thief of your joy and, and, and your joy in Christ and your joy in, in growing in your faith. Because you never know what, where they're actually at, you know, from, from the outside looking in, things are different than where they are from the inside looking out. Maybe they're looking at you and thinking the same things. And and I think that's true with, with everything. You can only see part of my garage right now because the rest of it is a big old mess of stuff that we've been going through and, and figuring out what to get rid of. And, and that's the same thing. I can like look and compare and see all these people with these nice organized garages and tools and everything and go, man, I just don't have that. And you, you can't do those things. You have to you have to just look at what you have and, and go from there. You have to look at where you are and go from there and just know that as long as you're trying and you're reaching out and you're getting those resources and, and doing those things to move you along, then that's, that's where you need to be. And so the, the cliche is, is it's about the journey, not the destination. Well, hopefully we're all moving towards the same destination and we're all just at 
different points on our journey and we can travel together and, and help one another along. So I hope all of you are having a great day and we'll see you hopefully soon.